If you've ever had a nose trimmer similar to this one, but it doesn't act like it's working correctly or it's not very powerful, this might work for you. Dad, what do you got? Oh, I've got a trimmer here that kind of acts up. Okay. You, you turn it on and it's not moving. You wiggle the blades, they go a little bit. But it acts like the batteries are dead. Are the batteries dead? Are they new? Uh, no, the batteries are actually old. They're old but batteries? You try one drop of uh, alcohol on it, Whoop. Or more. Or, or like a little... And then you turn it on. And look at that. It just takes off immediately. What? Well, why is that? Why does that work? Well, there's some kind of uh, gunk in between the blades that prevented them from moving. So that's probably just because it's got nose hairs in there and stuff yeah. that haven't been rinsed out. No, not necessarily. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, what do you do? Could be something other than nose hairs that were a product of your nose. <laughs> oh, so it's got boogers in it. Is that yeah. what you're saying? <laughs> Are there boogers? Could be something like that, yeah. Dad, were your no, boogers I, on there? I shake off the excess, and now I can trim my nose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Works great. Smells wonderful. <laughs> you gotta love isopropyl alcohol. Okay. Yeah. And then when you're done, it's a good idea, a little bit of hair on there, you know, walk it over to the sink. Turn the water on, run it under the water with it running. Shake off the excess alcohol and uh, the whiskers and you're done. Now, and is then, is it okay to do that to every kind or does it have to be waterproof? Well, uh, I assume most of them are waterproof. I think most of them probably have stainless blades. Okay, so and, check before you run it under the water that it's okay to do right. so. I've been doing this for years and it works great. Okay. Thank you.